everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I have some really fun Dollar Tree Cricut sellable items. Now, what this is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's items that you can purchase at Dollar Tree and you can customize them using your Cricut to sell on Etsy or Facebook Market, or you can just make them for yourselves for special events like weddings, baby shower, housewarming, DIY gifts. Today's video is sponsored by Cricut, a big thank you to them. And if you know somebody who has a Cricut and has been considering selling items, or if you know somebody who's been considering getting a Cricut, share this video with them because it's gonna be full of ideas. And I really, really hope that you enjoy this video and you stick around by subscribing to this channel because once you subscribe, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep. And please hit that notification bell make sure that you set them to all so you know every time I post a video and let's go ahead and get started for these projects you can use whatever Cricut you have I'm using my air explore 2 and my easy press but you can use your maker or joy I'm linking all of the machines below for my first project I'm gonna be using these chalkboards from Dollar Tree they do come in different sizes so make sure you look out for that and before any project you really want to measure out where you want to add your decal this project was actually something that I needed at home for my daughter, so I made a feeding schedule and I just did this on Cricut Design Space, which is completely free, but I did add these two little SVGs, the baby bottle and the diaper. Now I will link the SVG that I used. I like using design bundles because it gives you a license, so if I do plan on selling this, I am not going to get into any trouble. And for my Air Explorer 2, I always keep it on custom when I'm cutting, so I don't accidentally cut on the wrong setting. And for this, I used permanent vinyl so that when I wipe this down, none of the vinyl is lifting. You can also use heat transfer vinyl. Whenever I place my transfer tape or vinyl, I always slightly fold so that the middle is touching the middle of the surface and that way it's not all wrinkly. And then I start peeling from left to right or right to left, whatever I feel comfortable with. This is the marker that I'm using for this. It's a fine tip and you can buy this at Michael's. Now, the best thing about this is that you don't have to pre-season this chalkboard. So it's perfect for selling items. You can just wipe it down and it doesn't leave a mark. For this next one, it's not really a sellable item, but something that can help you out if you're in a bind. I'm going to be using these gift boxes from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three, but this hack has been all over TikTok where you take one, you find the middle point, and then you basically score it down the middle, and you're going to cut that down. So what this is going to do is it's going to create one smaller box, and you'll see right here how easy it is to create, but it's wonderful for shipping, and we're going to customize this using the Cricut. I'm pre-folding before I put this on my mat because I want to figure out exactly where I want my logo. So I'm semi-assembling my box and then I'm taking it back down and measuring. The key to all of these projects is measuring and measuring all over again. So I'm using this monogram SVG. I'll link that below as well. And I just created a fake logo to show you how simple this is. Now, the more intricate your logo is, the longer it's going to take. You want to make sure that it it is upside down for something like this so that it's facing the customer when you close the box. I'm going to use my Cricut pen and I am going to let it do its thing. Now again, this isn't a permanent solution because this does take quite some time, but definitely if you've run out of boxes, perfect solution. For this next project, I'm using these coasters from Dollar Tree. They're in the crafter square section. Now, before you do anything to them, you wanna make sure that you sand them down. I am staining a few just so you see the difference in color, but you can, of course, paint it, stain it, leave it as is, and then you wanna seal it, of course. Now, the best thing about this is that even though the middle planks are pretty narrow, the end ones are actually pretty thick, so you can add a really nice size piece of vinyl on the ends. 
Using Cricut Design Space, I made these combination of fonts that say Mr. and Mrs. with established in the end. Now I did cut them together, but you don't have to. And then I cut them down once I had my transfer tape. Again, I'm using permanent vinyl for this, but of course you can use heat transfer vinyl and use a mini easy press or an iron. It's up to you what you have on hand and what you prefer to use. These were so quick and easy to make and they are perfect for weddings, baby showers, or even just as a gift. Here are the two different colors. Of course, you can do them whatever color you want and this is the final product. Using a glass from Dollar Tree and one of these SVGs from this bundle, which I will link below, I'm going to go ahead and customize this glass. So I use Goo Gone to remove the stickers, which I had already done, and some alcohol swabs to make sure this is nice and clean. Now one really cool hack to make sure that you're nice and leveled is putting some water in the glass before you add your vinyl. Now before I start securing down the sides, I'm gonna grab some scissors and make some notches, same as I would with paper if I'm trying to get it around something round. This is gonna help to have it stay leveled and not have any air bubbles underneath that vinyl so that everything is nice and flat. I'm gonna use my fingers, my smoothing tool, and then I'm gonna remove my transfer tape and continue to use my finger to press that in. I'm using permanent vinyl, but of course you can use heat transfer. In the baby section of Dollar Tree, they have these really cute receiving blankets. They're a nice size, and they also have these really cute bibs. Now for this one, I kept it simple. On Cricut Design Space, I just put my daughter's name together. And now when you use iron-on, you wanna make sure that you're mirroring your image and that your iron-on is shiny face down. When you're weeding, this is what it looks like when you're weeding off of the mat, it kind of lifts up. So you wanna weed while it's still on the mat and then you can go ahead and remove it. But it just makes your whole life a whole lot easier weeding on the mat. Now, before I put this on anything, I check the heat guide. I'll leave that link below, but basically you put in the material that you're using, the base material and what you're using it on, and it tells you exactly how to heat this up using your easy press. It just saves you from ruining your material and ruining what you're actually creating. So I always start by ironing the section out first and then going ahead and using the guidelines from that heat press guide. So for the bibs, I'm also going to check my heat guide before I put any heat to this. The materials are totally different from the receiving blanket to the bibs. So even though it's different, it did have the same guidelines and I just want to make sure that I don't ruin my material. So this was really cute and you can offer it as a set or you can sell them individually. I think this is super duper cute and they do have the matching pieces at Dollar Tree. In the Crafter Squared section of Dollar Tree, I found these cute little treasure chests and I thought they would be absolutely perfect for a tooth fairy case. So again, I'm gonna measure the top and the bottom and before I do anything, I'm gonna sand this down because it does have some rough edges. Now I'm keeping this the natural color, but of course you can paint it whatever color you'd like. I just like to keep it simple when it comes to the wood pieces and make sure that you remove all of the stickers. 
this is also from an SVG bundle, which I will link below, but this is really simple and I'm just going to go ahead and use some permanent vinyl. But again, because this is wood, you can use heat transfer and a Cricut mini easy press, which will also be linked below. You can seal it afterwards, whatever you like. But once you're done, this is super cute and custom. In the same section of Dollar Tree, they have these amazing 11 by 14 flat canvases. And these are great because they're wonderful for creating custom signs, but they're really lightweight. So shipping would be super duper simple since it's not creating that excess weight. Now for this, I'm going to use this SVG, which I will link below. And I'm using Cricut stencil vinyl. This is really simple to use. And honestly, since it's not super sticky, it doesn't lift up any of your paint, but just make sure that it dries really well before putting your stencil on there. I use a flat sponge from Dollar Tree to go ahead and stencil my design on there, but you can also get those flat sponges anywhere. Make sure that you're going up and down rather than side to side so you get no bleeding and you can do a combination of colors as well. For this one, I did create a wood border using a square dowel from the hardware store and I will link that mini saw below, but I'm just going to glue it into place and you can go ahead and use a nail gun, whatever you like, but this was super duper simple and so beautiful and you can do this for any season so you can offer this all year round. This is another one of my favorites using these round pieces of wood from Dollar Tree. I'm going to measure how big it is and I'm going to keep into consideration where that little hole is. I'm going to cut everything down and then I'm going to sand it because I'm going to use this as a burnt stat. So this is probably going to be on a baby or close to a baby. You want to make sure that there is no chance of splinters. So sand your life away. For this, I'm also giving it a nice wood stain. And the reason I'm doing this is because some of the vinyl just looks a lot better with the wood stain. This is the difference between the two. Now I designed this using Cricut Design Space and the little floral doodles is from an SVG, which I will link below, but I'm also gonna link this. It's similar to what I created. And like I said before, all of these SVG bundles do come with a license to sell, so you won't get in trouble. So for one, I'm gonna offer the child's name. This is my daughter's name. And for the other is the actual birth stat. You can offer this as separate products or front to back, but look how beautiful this looks. So that's it for me. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more Cricut Dollar Tree videos. Make sure that you share this video with somebody that you know that has a Cricut. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I will hopefully see you on the next one.